How to break text in Adobe Photoshop. There's a couple of ways to create this broken text technique in Photoshop. One is the non-destructive way where you can keep the text editable. The other one, you would rasterize the layer but would have another very handy function available to you. I'm gonna show you both ways. Let's get right into it. All right, we're in our new blank document. So the first thing to do, we wanna create a background color. Create a solid, select a color. I'm gonna go for my typical CI yellow, like this. Now select your text tool and create your text. I had selected the right color already, resize it a little bit. So we're filling the canvas here. Now from here, there's a couple of things that you could do. You could actually keep this text layer editable to come back in later and edit the text, or you could rasterize it and then you have a couple of options to work a little smarter. Now, the first technique, we're gonna use the polygonal lasso tool. If you don't see this polygonal lasso tool, click and hold the mouse button, then you can select it, or you could cycle through this tool and the subtools with the shortcut Shift and L. When you hold down the Shift key and hit the L key a couple of times, then you will cycle through the regular lasso tool and the polygonal lasso. So now with the polygonal lasso tool selected, click through our text and create your broken mask. Now we have our mask created. And with the text layer selected, we could just actually create a mask. And as you can see, it is masking the area that we have selected. When we duplicate this with our typical shortcut, Control J, you see me using that a lot. And with this layer mask selected, just hit Control and I, which will invert the mask. You got your inverted text, now it's complete again. Of course, we have the, the upper part below, so move it above. And with the layer selected, now you can just move these things away and that's it. The beauty of this is it's actually still editable, so you could actually go in and say uh, whatever and the same thing here right that's the beauty of working non-destructively there's another way to do this the reason why i'm showing you this is because then you can use a very nice handy shortcut this is our starting point now we want to rasterize this layer let's say i want to commit to this text i have no reason to come back and edit the text so let's say we want to rasterize it right click rasterize type and again we're going to need our mask i had i've lost the mask so i'm going to create one real quick not very pretty but it will do the job with this layer selected now you could actually hit the shortcut Control shift j and what Control shift j will do it will actually remove what's within the selection and move it to a new layer let me hit it looks like nothing's happened but when i hide the first layer you, you see that it actually has moved everything from that from within that selection to a new layer. And that's a very quick and handy way to move things around when, you're, when they're selected from one layer and move them to a new dedicated layer. Why am I showing you this? Because Control Shift J is a very common shortcut. I use that a lot. So that's also in case you can not commit to the text and you don't need it editable anymore. Of course, it's always an option to copy the text and keep an editable text as a backup but that's also a good way to do it. Of course, you can combine both things when you have a selection in place. You can, here you can still work with a mask, duplicate the layer and invert the mask. That works in both cases. And with that done, let's say we got our text here. This is the upper one. We want to move it around a little bit. And as you've seen in the preview thumbnail maybe we want to give this a little bit of a not really a drop shadow but like a double effect like this here okay and here's a nice little handy trick if you want to copy an effect to a new layer hold down the alter option key and start dragging this little fx icon here to the new layer you will you see that the mouse cursor will change and when you drop it it's moved to the new one when we double click this effect and now i can go in and Move it to the other direction so it's not getting in the way. And that's our broken text. So that's how you actually can create this broken text very quickly. So what did we do? We created a text layer, created a selection with the polygonal lasso tool, which kind of looks like a break. Then from there, you could either mask that text layer and keep it editable, or you can rasterize that text layer 
and just um, move it to a new layer with the shortcut control shift J. That shortcut you can also find under layer new layer via cut shift control J which is shift command J for Apple users. It actually does exactly what it says. It creates a new layer by a cut, okay? That's how to create the broken text effect in Adobe Photoshop. I hope you learned something new. If so, please consider hitting the like button to help me promote my tutorials here. And I hope I will see you in the next video. Oh, <laughs>